Thursday guys it's vlogmas day 21 so yes what's going on people I'm off I've been off since Tuesday I'm actually on my way to Panera because why are my lips look shot excuse me y'all I'm on my way to Panera because I gotta go pick Kayla up some food to drop off at school because she has a dance concert tonight she has a dance concert tomorrow night I'm going to that we're going to the one tomorrow night so I gotta go drop her some food because she won't be home until like late tonight. Oops, sorry about the sun. So yeah, so yesterday was a big day. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that my son, my baby boy, graduated from college. Yes, he graduated from Towson University with a Bachelor of Fine Arts in um, Art and Design. He is a graphic artist, he's a graphic designer. And so yes, I'm so excited, I'm so happy about that. Um, so that's what's been going on. I figure I'd just start to like just vlog my day. I'm not doing anything special. It's actually really late because it's like 1.53 and this car needs to go because I gotta be at the school at 2.20. And um, yeah, so I've been um, home cleaning up my house today. My mother-in-law left yesterday. My mother left yesterday. I didn't really film his graduation because I like for people to have their privacy. Um, and so I did, um, you know film him walking across the stage and stuff I'll put clips up here so you guys can see and I'll put pictures at the end but it was just such a happy joyful day for us the sad thing is that a lot of our family couldn't come because they only gave out four tickets I'm like who why the hell oops why the hell did they only just give four tickets don't they know these kids have big families so we weren't able to invite um a lot of people Kayla didn't even get to go because four tickets that's me my husband my mother-in-law and my mother so we're the four that went geez i gotta park way down here but yeah i'm about to run into panera real quick to get her something to eat get me something to eat so what's going on people you guys doing all right y'all doing all well all y'all are are you all y'all doing well i can't even speak are you guys done with your christmas shopping i pretty much am but hold on one second let me go order this food and then i'll be back hold on All right, so I'm back in the car. I got what I needed from Panera. Let me just sort this stuff out. Okay, so now I'm gonna go. What time is it? I'm gonna drop this stuff off at her. Did Kayla? At school. I'm so hungry. All right, so I'm at Kayla's school. I'm just waiting for her to come out so she can come get her stuff, her dance bag, and her food. And then I'm gonna go home and eat. And then I have a couple errands to run. So where is she? Let me let her know I'm here. Hey, hey, good people. Oh my hey. god. You look so pretty. Thank you. How was the how was the mock interview? It went really well. I'll tell you about it later. Alright. That's all your stuff. Your food is in I put the your straw? food in that bag. The straw is in the bag with your food. Love you. Okay guys. I just got done talking to my husband. He's at work, but um Yeah, so I'm eating some tomato soup and I had a turkey sandwich. Oh, just so you know, I'm no longer eating solely vegan, but I'm not gonna break that down in this video. I'll tell you guys probably in a separate video because, um, I don't know, I guess I will just say it real quick. Um, if you if, if you did happen to watch the um, I went vegan for a, a week video and this is what happened, and I, told, I explained to you guys why I wanted to try it because I told you how I, I have been feeling tired all the time and that, um, excuse me, how I was having like aches and pains my body was aching my knees and stuff were always aching and I was like I work out too much I was working out too much to be that tired all the time well I started feeling bad again I started feeling like really tired again and my knees and things were aching and then uh, my hair was shedding really really crazy not this hair not not this hair right here this, this is the wig but my hair was shedding really really crazy so at first i thought it was shedding like that because of, i was eating vegan and wasn't getting enough protein so i researched it to see like if you ate vegan if that can make like your hair fall out and it said yes um if you don't eat enough protein so i started eating a lot more beans lentils and things like that for the protein but it still wasn't subsiding and then i just was still i was starting to feel really really tired all the time and my knees were aching so bad and i kept getting these weird bruises on my skin so when i had that cold i had a cold and the cold is lasting longer than like 
seven days. I had the cold for three weeks and I have like a history of getting bronchitis every year. So I went to the doctor and when I went to the doctor, I um, you know, was telling her I had this cold that was lasting and I think I might have bronchitis and I also was telling her about like my hair was shedding really, really bad. And so um, I asked her if she could, she, well, she was so mean and nasty. She was like, well, that's a part of, of aging. And I said, well, I understand that's part of aging, but I also am perimenopausal, so I wasn't sure if that had something to do with it and that my thyroid levels are off, because you know if your thyroid and your hormones and stuff are off, that can cause problems. So I asked her if she could run the te run a test and just check my thyroid out and everything, which she did, and so it came back fine. So then I asked her to refer me to a dermatologist because I didn't know if I was getting alopecia or what. Not that I had bald spots or anything, but my hair was just shedding out in clumps. Like, even the shower got drained. It was so much hair. And when my husband unclogged it, I was like, whose hair is that? Like, where'd that hair come from? I was like, how do I have any hair left on my head? But anyway, that's neither here nor there. So I went to the dermatologist and she actually checked my vitamin D levels. So it turns out that my vitamin D level was uh, um, 10, which is extremely and dangerously low. And that is the reason I have been feeling so tired all the time. Like, no matter how much sleep I got or how long I slept, I was still tired. And remember you guys, I told you that like when I would be driving to work, you know, I couldn't focus, it was real foggy. I felt like I was having that highway hypnosis and I couldn't focus at work because I was having like a lot of brain fog issues and sometimes I'd feel like I was gonna faint and stuff. Well, all those symptoms were coming back and I was like, well, I'm eating vegan, I'm eating good. So I, I thought I was eating good, so why am I still having all these issues? But yeah, so having low vitamin D can cause you to have muscle aches, weak bones, all types of stuff. That's why my knees and joints and stuff we're aching because you know you get vitamin D from the Sun and most of us are inside all day most of us work indoors and we're not outside so and plus if you have darker skin if you have melanin in your skin it takes your body twice as long to absorb vitamin D for this from the Sun if you uh, if you are out in the Sun so I'm actually on vitamin D um, medicine now and um, I take vitamin I take 10,000 10, IU's um, a day right now until my levels get up. I actually went to the doctor, was it Monday? No, I went to the doctor, when I had my physical? Tuesday, I went to the doctor Tuesday. I went and had a physical Tuesday and they checked them again. So I'm waiting to see if they're actually going up. But that is why I was feeling the way that I was feeling. Yes, I know it was still going and stuff, but y'all, it was a struggle. Like I said, I'm a girl on the go and like, even when I feel bad, I still go. But I was like, and I, well, and I'm, I'm feeling better now, but I was like in so much pain. My joints and stuff hurt going up and down the steps. Oh my God, my knees would be killing me. I couldn't carry the laundry basket because my wrists felt like they were gonna snap. And I just was like, oh, well, it's just I'm getting older. But then I was like, wait a minute, there's people 50 and 60 and 70 who are, I see them outside running and jogging. And I was like, why am I so broken down? And I had been telling my husband, even before we went vegan, I would just be telling him, I'd be like, something is wrong with me. I just you know I don't feel right something is the matter with me and I should have listened to my body then because I know I was probably vitamin D, uh, D deficient for a long long time so I'm telling you guys all this to say when you go get your physical ladies or gentlemen if there's any men that are watching have them check your vitamin levels because that's not something that they normally check for I mean and 95% of the population is vitamin D deficient and don't know it. And it is, it's not fun. I mean, it leads to all types of health diseases like multiple sclerosis, cancer, you know, all types of um, health problems, um, osteoporosis, osteofibromyalgia, uh, everything. I mean, I felt like I was like breaking down and I, I, I would tell my husband Lonnie, I'd be like, oh my God, I'm probably gonna have to get a knee replacement. My knees are, cause they would be cricket and cracking and just hurt. And I, I went to the emergency room not too long ago because I felt like my knee was just gonna pop from out under me. So I was just having all types of issues. I'm feeling a lot better now. I've been on, um, I've been on the treatment for about about four weeks now and I'm starting to feel a lot better but they say it takes from six months to a year to fully recover because once the vitamin D gets in your system it has to go and repair your bones so and if you take vitamin 3 d3 and this is what the doctors don't tell you you're supposed to take vitamin k2 with it because it helps uh, prevent the calcium from depositing in your arteries and make sure that the vitamin D gets to where it needs to go and I also started taking Epsom salt baths for the magnesium. It's so many things, you need magnesium, calcium, everything. And so 
When I'm saying all this to say that when I was eating vegan, I cut like anything out that had vitamin D. I cut out all dairy uh, and things like that because eggs have a lot of vitamin D. Dairy products, yogurt and stuff have a lot of vitamin D. Milk has a lot of vitamin D. And I cut like all of that out of my diet eating vegan. So yeah, so I don't eat meat every day, but I have a added meat and some dairy products back into my diet. And now I just say that I eat clean because you know, I thought that was, uh, you know, a good way to go, but damn, it seems like no matter what you eat or no matter what you don't eat, something's gonna, <laughs> something's gonna give. But yeah, I'm feeling a lot better, but yeah, I just want to make sure that you guys know so that you know to get your vitamin D levels checked. And if you don't take a vitamin D supplement, you probably should start taking one because it's very important. Like I said, people with melanin in their skin, you know, I was, Takes, them, takes us a longer time to absorb it from the outside. So just get yourself checked out and when you do, or if you're having any other symptoms that I described, even Google it. Google it and look it up. Look, at, look up vitamin D um, deficiency symptoms. And every symptom that they list, I had every single one of those symptoms for a long, long time. And remember in that vegan video, I said I'm, I was going vegan because I was sick and tired of being tired all the time and that is that's why I was trying something different because I was like what I'm doing isn't working so let me try something new and yes I felt better for a while but then after then again the same symptoms started coming back so but anyway on a lighter note we're about to go run some errands so let's go get ready to do that okay let me get this I got one package that I gotta go mail so all my um all my uh, giveaway winners contact have contacted me well three I mailed them out on Tuesday and then the final one Jan Thomas hey Jan girl hey she contacted me yesterday because I I tracked her down I tracked you down didn't I Jan to make sure that uh, she knew she won because I was gonna have to give it to somebody else but she contacted me yesterday I got your message in the middle of the graduation too Jan and it's your package is right here we about to go to UPS to have them package it up and then we're going to go to the post office and I'm going to get it off to you. So hopefully, well, I don't know if you'll get it by Christmas. Maybe you'll get it on Saturday, maybe not. So it's not my fault, but you'll, you'll get it. So let's go ahead and get this package taken care of so you can get your stuff. All right, so now I got the package all packaged up by UPS and now I'm taking it to the post office because it's being delivered to a P.O. box and UPS doesn't deliver to P.O. boxes. So y'all see, I will go through, I will move heaven and earth to get you what I need to get to you. <laughs> okay, so we're done at the post office. Jan Thomas, I just mailed your package. I just sent you a message on Instagram letting you know all the details. So it should be there to you on Tuesday. So. Not before Christmas, but the day after Christmas, so we're good. Now I want to go to the um, to Cupcakes and Company because I want some cupcakes. So let's go get some cupcakes. All right, y'all. I was gonna go get some cupcakes, but the traffic is so bad right now. It's 4:23, so I don't. Uh, I'm not sure what time the bakery closes. I think it closes at six, so I'll probably go get them tomorrow. So I'm gonna go to Walmart because I gotta go get some um, cleaning supplies and stuff. I need some stainless steel wipes. I need some tissues, just little things. So I figured I'd go to Walmart and get that stuff and go on home. Okay, I need to find a candle lighter because mine ran out of gas but where are they i don't even remember where to find them here we go here we go here we are this is what i'm looking for okay y'all okay, so i'm back home now i'm uh see the tree uh i'm gonna go work on some videos i'm gonna go work on editing my christmas tour video editing this vlog and um yeah i just want to say uh I want to give a shout out to one of my subscribers, Carolyn Saunders. She's one of the um, women that won uh, uh, the giveaway. And she is uh, 
under the weather right now. Her and her grandson, they're not feeling well. She has the flu and a upper, upper respiratory infection. And I just want to say, Carolyn, you are in my thoughts. You're in my prayers. And I'm going to be praying that you and your grandbaby get better soon because I just... I want you to feel better and I want you to be better for Christmas if it's possible, but get some rest, drink lots of fluids. I mean, I'm no nurse or no doctor, but yes, I am thinking about you and I really do hope you feel better soon. And so, um, yeah, guys, so that's going to do it for today's vlog, Vlogmas Day 21. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I didn't do much because I started late. Um, but yeah, I figured why not? Why not finish the rest of Vlogmas? I'm home, so I might as well vlog every day while I'm here. But um, I'll see y'all tomorrow. I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. Um, I hope y'all are all doing well. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for rolling with your girl. I love y'all. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. See you tomorrow.